this is our late July cruise uh, off to Conway. John down there getting changed. Uh, he's still fully clothed though. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we sailed up the moorings and sailing down through the moorings and then we'll head off to the wild road. We've got uh, Sienna in front of us and then we're followed by Kingfisher and Wild Magic uh, who are just getting themselves ready. Uh, Dawn Mist, sorry not Kingfisher, Dawn Mist um, who's taking the time because they will ferry people backwards and forwards to their yachts and uh, you know messing about. There's Torka, come to wish his club wet farewell. Finally, Jenica aboard. Yes. And sailing quite well. I don't know what our speed is. We got. <laughs> 2 point five knots. Jenica up, no engine. And we're still catching up with all of those with the engines on. I think they've switched them off just now. Yeah. On the motor now because we're only less than two knots of wind. Uh, we decided that it was best to put the, um, the, the engine on. Uh, go ahead, don't miss, over. Which way are we going? Are we following uh, Lee? Or are, are we going a different route over? Yeah, we're just going straight over to the point of air. There should be enough water to take us right to it over. So basically head for the lighthouse over. Yeah, yeah, because it, it's a fairly straight end. Your, your spinnaker's working well now, isn't it? We're getting a bit of assist, yes, over. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we should. Be, there should be enough water uh, everywhere now because we're just on high water, uh, just about 20 minutes off high water. So we should have enough water to take us all the way over to the point of air over. Okay, if, if you get stuck or if the uh, wild magic gets stuck, we know not to go that way. Over. Good thinking. Out. So yeah, in we're in the doldrums now. We're in the doldrums now. Completely becalmed. Glacier water. Time to break up the champagne, I think. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> temperature just coming up to 21 degrees. Got less than five knots. Well, in fact, we've got nothing. Although the forecast for the area says five knots of wind and we've got nothing at all. Uh, there's no wind at all. All boats. 6.5 knots now. Uh, we're, all, we're all good at uh, flying our spinnakers with the engine on. I've <laughs> <laughs> oh, got an engine going, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was still going to do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Lee. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I like this vinegar. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Good old Welsh mountains. Yeah. Coming into view, and uh, right out there is uh, Sienna, and right by the wind farm now, just off London. No, Conway on the other side of the Great Arm, and behind us is David. He says, uh, "Totally become well, not totally become. We're still moving." Very slightly. We have to keep on putting the engines on and then but then the alarm goes so we switch it off because the alarm's bloody annoying. I have to sort that out. 
Oh dear, missed all that. Oh no, there it is again. There's the alarm again. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work. It just changed the impeller, but that's not seemed to make any difference. Alarm's up again. Uh, but at least there's water coming out now. If there wasn't water coming out, so I think the, the impeller gave up the ghost. That's the problem when the engine gets too hot, the impeller doesn't work properly. Now on the tow by Lee. Uh, thank goodness, because we would never have made it around the Great Home without the tow. Uh, we were actually going backwards. We made it this far under the engine, switching it off, switching it on, switching it off, switching it on. But then that was it. It started to pump out steam and really refused to go. So uh, hopefully we get it sorted. Well, we just literally rounded the Great Home and it's now 20 past nine. John's still awake, I think. Good morning, John. Uh, yeah. And uh, the sun's just setting. It's going down now. Lee's still towing us. Uh, We've, we've had the engine on and off, on and off, uh, but it still keeps on overheating every so often. But we're almost, we're almost there. We should be going in about 10, uh, I would imagine. Yeah, it's 20 past, so we should be entering the, the, the channel by about 10 o'clock, hopefully, and then we should... Uh... Well, the sun's going down, or gone down. Yes, the sun's disappeared and uh, we're still motoring in thanks to Lee. He's up there in front. We're under power but it's one of those things we don't, we need to just keep a very low revs in order for the engine to work. Uh, I'm going to put it off now and then let it cool down so that we can get into the marina on, under our own steam because we won't be difficult being towed in. Day two and here we have Conway Marina. Preparing to leave at six o'clock, at uh, eight o'clock sorry. And uh, just going to put breakfast on, have something to eat, and then we'll be away. Nine o'clock, we're underway. Everyone's on motor, coming out of the channel. I've taken the thermostat out, and hopefully that will do the trick. But we've got to wait and see yet. Uh, it's early days, and. Uh, and then we've got a reasonable amount of wind so we should be able to sail and just going to put the sails up when we turn into wind it didn't record it <laughs> it wasn't recorded <laughs> yeah just saying uh, we're under sail now we're all under sail uh, nine, nine knots of wind doing 2.4 2.4 uh, against the tide at the moment, um, so doing about 3.4 knots really, and um, yeah, uh, we had to switch the engine off because it was pumping more into the boat than it was pumping out. Because uh, the seals, I broke the seals when obviously I took the thermostat out, and now that's that's uh, leaking like mad. But um, hopefully. Uh, we can sail all the way back to the moorings. We're cutting real out because we need to get back and we need to get this fixed really uh, So that's our day's plan and there's lovely whales and Bye to Conway. I'm going to take away a phone up pizza uh, takeaway from delivered to the door Conway and, uh, Pizza, Most welcome because burger, it was the only place open, everywhere else closed at nine o'clock. Uh, and uh, that was open till 11. There, so, I would go good there, trade uh, and good, good service. Good service uh, and I'll, awesome. I'll give that trip advice. Tide's now turned, and uh, three knots has turned into 2.4 knots against the tide. And uh, 
I'm still cracking along, but not as. And over there somewhere is real, and uh, we should be turning the great arm soon. Uh, sorry, the points of air soon. Should be coming around the points of air. It should be all right. Now quarter to four. We're still sailing. We've managed to put the engine back together so that it doesn't leak, but I'm not convinced it's done any good in terms of solving the problem. It tends to run hot very quickly now because uh, the thermostat operates at 60 degrees where I don't think the other one did. So it, it, it's still a problem. But anyway, I'll have a think. Point of air, some three mile away. Getting there. These creeped up on engine, sneaky. The fact that we've been on engine for the last 20 minutes has got nothing to do with it. Hey, well, most relaxed. No longer invading the country with his Viking helmet. I hear something in the background. What could be that? Not too sure what that could be. Oh, it's the Moultrie's. Turbine transfers. Being invaded, they're coming to get us. No, no, no. No, it's the, it's the workboats. And we've got two in front of us. Two big boats in front of us. And two boats coming towards us. And technically, they should beep us. They should beep us, let us know that they're there. <laughs> they, they should indicate they're passing. The speed of that is ridiculous, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. As we approach the moorings, our engine died completely. We requested a tow off Malcolm, who was kind enough to hook us up, but unfortunately we grounded which then caused a wraparound rope on his propeller, leaving him stranded. He then added the outboard and was able to get off. And Lee came to our rescue and towed us back to the moorings. Overall, a very difficult time, but oh, uh, a great sail, um, lovely company, and most enjoyable um, two days. Uh, hopefully David will be back now um, and uh, everything will be all right with him. Uh, thank you to all, especially Lee for towing us twice and Malcolm for uh, getting us out of trouble uh, uh, at the end. Thanks.